The headlines say Islam is going to be the largest religion in the world. But Islam will grow faster than any other major religion. Islam is the world's fastest growing religion. Islam is the only religion growing faster than the world's population. <laughs> Unless you've been living under a rock, then you would know that Muslim propagandists, davagandists, or these influencers, they lie shamelessly. And one such lie is that Islam is the fastest growing religion. Yes, it is the fastest growing religion, but not for the reason that Muslim propagandists would tell you. It's not because Western people are so mind blown by superior Islamic values that they say, hmm, your religion is beautiful. Let me convert to Islam. They show you some token white people who convert to Islam and then they use it over and over and over again and say, look. Islam is so beautiful, even white people are converting to Islam. But when in reality, that's not the case. As I have shown this Pew survey from 2017 many times before, that in 2010 to 2016, there were more people who left Islam than people who converted to Islam. In fact, Islam had a direct deficit of 160,000 people to apostasy. That means if 40,000 people converted to Islam, then 200,000 people left Islam, which means there was a net loss of 160,000 people to apostasy. But don't, don't let the facts get in your way. Islam or Muslim, just like this one. But it has just gone from here to there. So it's basically gone, gone from 3% to 6%, which is generally associated with higher fertility rates. Unfortunately, Muslims are the biggest burden on welfare states. Have a look at this. People who identified as Muslims were more likely to live in social rented homes than the overall population. There are other statistics as well. According to the UK's home office, they have the least family income. Uh, they have the least number of skilled jobs, and they also have the highest number of unemployed people. You would think that they would love the West for giving them a good life, you know, a freebie. Because Hindus, Christians, they come in, they get high paying jobs, they work hard and they make more money. But Muslims, on the other hand, because they are not keen on getting higher education, etc., they have lower skills and they have less employment. So they end up getting welfare payments from the government. So anyway, coming to the subject of this video. Muslims claim that Western people are converting to Islam in huge numbers because of Islam's superior values. And as I said, they lie shamelessly. And thank goodness for ex-Muslims like us who are sitting here to call out their lies. There are three reasons why a Westerner converts to Islam. We already know that a big chunk of Westerners who convert to Islam are actually women. And there are three reasons why women convert to Islam. Number one, which is not exclusive to women only, it's a get famous quick scheme. If you become Muslim, then you would have the unwavering support of Muslims. Why? Because when it comes to following religious dogma, Muslims, unfortunately, are the most dogmatic people. Whether you're in the right or wrong, Muslims will support you. This is how simplistic and tribal Muslim people are. So if you announce that you've converted to Islam, a billion people will start following you. So that's number one. Number two, a lot of women actually fall in love with Muslims, like this lady. And as this Guardian report says, around 5,000 British people convert to Islam every year, and most of them are women. But look at this, I am married to a Muslim. And that usually is the case. These Muslim men are okay to have white girlfriends, but when they want to take you to the next level, they say, sorry, honey, I can't marry you because you're not a Muslim. So if you want to marry me, you're going to convert to Islam. Still, a lot of these Muslim men don't actually marry them, but some do end up marrying them. So that's okay. That's the reason why they convert to Islam. Isn't that amazing? That you fell in love with a Muslim man and now all of a sudden you find these amazing Islamic values. Why did you not find them before? It's obviously an emotional reason. But number three is what I call chickens for KFC syndrome. A lot of Western women who are disillusioned and disenchanted with their Western way of life, and then they say, hmm, maybe my life is so bad in the West. I had my heart broken by that guy, by that guy, by that guy. So therefore, I'm going to try a more conservative kind of a religion. Because how worse could my life get from here? So they look for a more traditional looking culture, such as Islam. Okay, well, if he doesn't let me go out, if he puts me in these bin bags, but then at least he's not going to be fucking around. 
little does she know that he can actually marry three more wives. And if she was living in any other era, then he could have had multiple sex slaves as well. But they tend to ignore that. But that doesn't last very long. A lot of these convert women actually end up leaving Islam. Listen to this TikToker who converted to Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened. When I first became a Muslim, I was so excited. I was enjoying my prayers. I was enjoying being Muslim. I felt free. I felt at peace. These social TikTok influencers, you know, they're bored with their lives. They want something new. They want something. Attention is the new currency that they're always seeking. And as I said, she definitely falls in the first category. If you want attention, if you want hundreds of thousands, if not millions of new followers, just say that you've converted to Islam. I'm telling you, if I converted to Islam, if I announce tomorrow that I've converted to Islam, my subscription will go through the roof. It's going to happen because when it comes to fooling Muslims, they are the easiest people to be fooled. Just say you've converted to Islam. So anyway, so this woman had also converted to Islam, but now she's an ex-Muslim. Have a listen, why? And then around three weeks of being Muslim, I started to feel trapped. I started to feel like I was in a box. Why? Because I started to listen to everyone around me. I started to listen to people telling me this is haram. This is the way that you need to practice. This is haram. This is halal. You should do this. You shouldn't do that. So basically this poor woman started listening to Muslims after she converted to Islam and a lot of Muslim dais, these propagandists, they actually tell them. Don't tell them about these aspects like wife beating, sex slavery, multiple wives, polygamy is allowed to men, etc. Don't tell them initially. Once they say the Shahada, once they convert to Islam, then slowly tell them about this people. So anyway, so within three weeks, this woman left Islam. But now let me show you one of the most shameful aspects of this dirty, filthy, perverted industry that is called Dawah. Have a listen to this victim. Look what happened to her. This will probably be my last TikTok oh. video, at least for the foreseeable future. Today, I really need to address something that is a huge problem, not only in the revert community, but in the Muslim community online. And I do not see enough people speaking about it. So we speak about it all the time, honey. You just never paid any attention. You never did your homework. We have been doing that for a very freaking long time. But you fell for propaganda. Finally, you woke up. Let's hope that other women would not fall for the same propaganda that you fell for. Well, I'm coming on here today to raise my voice about this issue. Okay. To give you some context, a few weeks ago, I started sharing online about my revert journey to Islam. And since then, between my TikTok and my Instagram, I have received thousands, thousands of DMs from men with perverted intentions. Muslim men being perverted? One of the biggest motivation of these Muslim Dawagandas for converting white women to Islam is the fact that they can marry them later on. This is the reason why. There are so many horror stories. There really are. They see white women as piece of meat. And in the beginning, I tried to brush it off. I tried to pretend like I didn't see it, which is what my friends advised me to do. But as time went on, it is something that has made me feel physically sick. Ooh. It is something that has become a deal breaker with me regarding making content online. Or even Islam. Um, if uh -huh. this is what I have to put up with, in order to share my story or in order to create content, then this is not a community that I want to be part of. And I want to be very careful here because I know that I'm speaking about a community, the Muslim community, that is very vulnerable at the moment with the situation. I'm not out here to bash anyone. But the behaviors that I have seen in the past few weeks are completely indefensible, in my opinion. I'm not an object to be desired. Oh, yes, you are. I am not some sort of trophy you are. to be won and to flaunt around like the amount of dms that i have got please respond please respond please respond i'm looking for a revert wife not just from these village boys from high profile high profile people like what like uh start Numan ali khan or ali Dawa, Muhammad ali Jaff? no i don't know i don't know if it's them but they're saying 
that these high profile ones, they're, they're all perverts. Anyways, just to wrap it up, there's only three reasons why white women convert to Islam. Number one, they're seeking clout. Number two, they're falling in love with a Muslim man. Or number three, they have chickens for KFC syndrome. They're just disillusioned by the Western way of life. So they think, okay, let me try Islam. But I think most of these people end up leaving Islam anyway. So over the next five, 10 years, you're going to see a lot more ex-Muslims who would not only be brown, 